Hi guys, Josh from TT101. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about getting into long range shooting and six firearms that I feel like you can get into for under $2,000 or right at $2,000. Um, it's going to be more more or less a budget orientated, uh, orientated video. Not to say that $2,000 isn't a lot of people's budgets, but if you wanted to get into competition sh uh, shooting without really breaking the bank, I'm, sending, I'm, I'm saying spending like four or $5,000 on uh, just a crazy rig or setup, whatever you would like to call it. These would be six options that I uh, would like to talk about today. I only have five of them currently. I did not have one of them at my store right now, unfortunately, to put in front of the camera, but we can we can work with what we have here. Um, what I want to start with is pretty much any 308 AR platform. Uh, this most definitely will get out to a thousand yards, no questions asked. If you watch my last video, I talked about how when you really get out to distance, it's harder to be as accurate with a semi-automatic compared to a bolt action, uh, and I still believe in that. I, I'm, I'm going to stick to that as uh, as I go on with this, but in the right hands, and if you practice enough, you can most definitely make hits um, out to a thousand yards plus even with a AR platform in a 308. Uh, this one happens to be an Armalite, and it comes in at 1039. Uh, this would just be a really great option if you're really trying to get out there and touch something. So moving on, We've got another semi-automatic AR-15 platform here, but this one is chambered in the 6.5 Grendel, and a lot of guys don't even know what that is, and I really highly suggest you doing some research on that uh, that round in particular because it is pretty darn cool, and uh, towards the end of this video, I'm actually going to show you guys all of the different calibers that I was talking about throughout this, so you get an, can get an idea of what the uh, 6.5 Grendel looks like compared to a couple of the other options that I have for you guys today. Now, this one comes with, I believe, a 20-inch barrel. Uh, it has a 1 and 8 twist on it. It has all your, your key mod front foregrip. For whatever reason, guys are kind of straying away from key mod. I kind of like key mod because it's softer on your hand. It's more circular. Um, you can add rail sections where you feel necessary. Uh, this one happens to come with a Magpul rear buttstock, one of the original ones, uh, oversized charging handle, and a Magpul grip. Uh, if you're trying to get out to a thousand yards, and uh, this would definitely be a great option, and it comes in at twelve ninety nine, so that's really not a bad price. You might be able to find it a little bit cheaper or higher elsewhere. I really don't know. Uh, another thing, before I get off the uh, off the subject of this one, I really like the muzzle brake that comes on this. It's pretty sweet looking. Uh, has the porting on the top so it'll help bring down some of the recoil so I thought that was kind of cool and I've actually heard of guys hunting elk with the 6.5 Grendel so for what, for what that's worth moving on I've got the Savage Stealth now this one is chambered in a 6.5 Creedmoor and out of all of these options, that's probably by far my favorite, just based off of the um, information that I've gathered on the round. It's a very flat shooting projectile, and it will just really, really get out there and touch something, and uh, it's it's just a wicked round. Um, I did talk about this gun in the pa prior video that I had done. Uh, again, it's just a really nice option. It has a threaded barrel on it, it's bolt action comes with a box magazine that I don't happen to have in it right now. Sorry about that. Uh, but that's how you get it out. That That's the button you'd have to press there. It also has the Accu Trigger, which is a very nice light trigger pull. Uh, this is a mil-spec buffer tube on here as well. So any AR-15 buttstock that you could find on the market will slap right onto this guy. And I believe the pistol grip here as well is a standard mil-spec AR-15 setup. So as long as it can fit on an AR, it can fit on this gun which I found to be pretty cool. And this gun, if my memory suits me, is coming in at right around 1200 bucks as well. So if you add a nice optic to this, and uh, you can be well under uh, $2,000 to get out there and start doing some, comp some competition shooting with this rifle and the prior two rifles as well. So going forward, I also have the Savage Model 111. This is a 338 Lapua, 
It's a very long rifle. Out of all of these options I'm talking about today, this one will probably get out there the farthest and touch something uh, with probably the best accuracy as well. But it's extremely expensive to shoot this. Um, you're talking almost $2 plus a round to shoot the 338 Lapua. But that being said, it's pretty wicked awesome if you ask me. And uh, has an adjustable cheek comb on here. Again, if you add an optic to this, in the the price point it comes in at is uh, twelve sixty nine here over at the Big R and Homer Glen. That's really not bad. You're still going to be under two thousand dollars with an even with an extremely nice optic, which I have two options for you guys, and I'm going to be talking about that at the end of this video. Now I'm going to end off. Oh yeah, before I get forget. The Ruger Precision Rifle, that is one of the other bolt action options I wanted to put in front of the camera for you guys today. I just didn't happen to have another one of those at my store right now. We sold through the ones that we had. That would be that would fall into the same class as the last two that I just showed you guys. Another great option, even as Ruger advertises it, uh, 1,600 yards, enough said. So uh, going away from that now. One last option, and uh, a lot of people don't really think about this, uh, is actually using a Springfield M1A for long-range precision uh, shooting. And this is just the standard Woodstock one. It's not the precision uh, uh, rifle barrel or anything like that, but still, you could use this as a long-range rifle uh, without a doubt. And uh, here we have these, I believe, for $1,300. So again, if you put a really nice optic on, on this setup here, there's no no reason in the world why you wouldn't be able to get out to a thousand yards with any of these that I talked about, including this one here today. So, all right, now I'm going to show you guys a couple scope options that I have, and then I'm going to show you guys the rounds that all of these shoot. All right, guys. So I'm going to start with the lowest price option first. This is going to be the Vortex Viper HS. This is in the 2.5 to 10 by 44 power. This is a very nice scope. I really like Vortex products because they have an unconditional lifetime warranty on all of their stuff. So there, no questions asked. If anything goes wrong with this thing, uh, they will help you out and replace it if it need, need be or fix it for you, which I find really awesome. Uh, and I've heard of guys very rarely uh, when it, but when it does happen, if something does go wrong with this, they are just very helpful and they take care of you right on the spot. So uh, this is your... Uh, uh, adjustment for zoom your eye relief here has your adjustment knobs on the top and the side there all in all this would make a really great option for any of the rifles that I showed you guys today uh, if you wanted to purchase this there will be a link down in the description below to help support my channel I would greatly appreciate that so now I'll move on to the best option I feel for any of these rifles all right guys so now you're probably asking me, why are you just putting another Viper HS in front of me? Well, this one happens to be the four to uh, excuse me, the four to sixteen by forty-four model. So this one has a lot more range as far as being able to get out there in the zoom. It's also a much larger scope altogether. It's got the nice covers as is standard for most any optic nowadays. Again. This is going to look familiar to the last one. It has your eye relief, your zoom, which goes all the way up to 16. That's quite a bit of power. Uh, it has the ad additional uh, adjustment knob here, which I find really nice. Uh, and uh, here's the uh, two other ones right here. Now, this one also comes with, as did the other one, the addition of putting this on here and what that does is that helps with the glare fr coming from sunlight so I, I kind of found that pretty cool and it just lengthens it up it screws on very nice and easily so you can see that then it also comes the little pin and a couple other accessories as far as a cloth for cleaning and then your instruction manual. All in all, this would be the best option in that price range for any of these rifles that I had shown. And again, if you wanted to purchase this to help support my channel, I will have my Amazon link below, and I would greatly appreciate that. Now I'm going to show you guys the ammunition that all of these rifles shot. 
So stay tuned and stick around. Okay, guys, sorry if I haven't been as enthusiastic as I normally am. I'm actually extremely tired today. I was walking around for almost eight hours yesterday doing some hunting. I ended up taking home three doves, so I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, to end this off, I'll show you guys all the ammunition that these rifles shoot. Now, I'm going to start off with a 308. And that is a 308 right there. Now, in comparison, this is the 6.5 Creedmoor. And they are very similar. They actually use the same magazine as far as the uh, stealth goes and the Ruger Precision Rifle. Fit, this guy fits right in this guy's magazine, which I find pretty cool. Now, also for comparison, this is the 6.5 Grendel. And that guy is just ever so slightly smaller. And then to put this really all in perspective, I'm sure everyone's held a 223. This is a 223 right here. Just to give you an idea of the difference in sizes. I hope you guys found this video a little bit informational. And uh, if you guys are not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my links below in the description. I have my link to my Amazon website. And all of those items on my website are hand selected by me. If I had a plethora of money to be able to be spending, those are some things that I would purchase with my own hard earned dollar. So uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe and the like button, and you guys have a good evening.